Can't find love? Hmm. That day is over. With Just Date Numbers, we can reveal all your secrets to sex and love. We call it Secrets of Birthdays, the love and lust report. Find out the secret to your heart at secretsofbirthdays.com. So Hey there, Soul Healers. Welcome to Soul Horoscope's weekly update, man. I'm DJ Dewey, stepping in for Christopher Watecki. He had a little bit of a bug going on, man. Happy Halloween. Nice to see you. A couple announcements. Come party with us. We're throwing a little shakedown in the Soul Garden. Uh, all the girls are going to be uh, dressing up as their inner Lilith, man. That's like, you know, Adam's ex-wife. If you don't know it's one of those dirty secrets come on down though man it's gonna be groovy also right now my brother christopher's got this groovy sale on man where if you buy a one hour reading he'll gift a one hour to someone who's never had one man can you believe that that's the age of aquarius in action bro seriously all right that's all i can do <laughs> hello my virgins and happy halloween welcome to soul horoscopes weekly update i am christopher wateki playing uh the stereotype man kind of kind of almost Manson the musical, kind of Jim Manson looking, isn't it? Helter Skelter. So uh, we are in Sun and Scorpio, and for you, this is the breaking new lesson of a new attitude. We just wrapped up Saturn in Libra, now Saturn is in Scorpio. I was away for a bit, my apologies, but I am back now. And here on this Halloween, strangely enough, it is the death and rebirth of a new part of us. Uh, for you, it is the death of an old attitude. And I know you know what this attitude is. You know every Virgo has got a certain thought pattern that's constantly criticizing and looking for the next shoe to drop. This is the part of you that has to go now. If you want to live the dream, you've got to let go of the old thinking pattern. So this is about how you think and what the motives are behind your thoughts. Are you thinking uh, to uh, break yourself down? Are you thinking? To, are you going over something you've already gone over before? You know, what are your thoughts? So. With the full moon, it was literally a thoughts versus belief opposition for the Virgos just the day before Halloween. And that meant that you got really full on the way things should be with the full moon, but then your mind wasn't playing along or was. And that was really the breakdown. As we wrap around, we'll go into comparison, how you think and how you compare things and how you judge. And this goes into overall attitude of life, which in three years, Saturn will change co completely in your life. And you will hopefully be on the right path as we uh, wrap up Sun and Scorpio. So as we start off on Halloween, sunny and self-reflective for the virgins of the Zodiac, the moon in Taurus pulls emotion still in that part of you. And I think on Halloween, you're really feeling uh, your purpose, your mission, your calling, and that's good. Uh, so you're kind of detached in the world, self-reflecting. And at the same time, you're stepping away from the old attitude and the old uh, way of thinking. This is the opposition, that tug of war. And notice that when you make this decision for the right attitude, this is when you'll start to feel your power rise as far as soul capital, self-confidence, etc. You didn't realize it, but your thinking was holding back your self-esteem and your ability to manifest. So by cutting away the negativity and cutting away the decay, you're no longer wearing on your own soul capital. Mm -hmm. Then on Thursday, it's time to take action. Mars rules the day, and you're going to feel very career-focused. The moon shifts across life purpose and into career legacy and decision making. You might have a lot of decisions to make and you are certainly feeling amped up to make them. These parallel lines show how things will move forward. As you make a decision about stepping away from an old attitude and stepping away from a fresh and stepping toward, excuse me, a fresh attitude, you feel your career and your values take off and you feel your trust and intimacy uh, and, uh, and your security take off as well. So a lot of great shifts going on, uh, excuse me, when you take action into the new attitude. Then on Friday, Friday we're holding space, sunny and professional. Yeah, man, totally professional, bro. Like you're working for the man on Friday. Um, holding space, <laughs> the moon in uh, uh, Gemini pulls emotion into career legacy and making uh, legacy decisions. Uh, and what you're holding space for is really this new attitude. So you need to have gratitude uh, on this day for not falling into a mind game forever. Gratitude for getting out of it. Gratitude for what you have. That's how you hold space 
for the future. I've just learned that recently, and I'm sharing it with you right now, man. Now, looking at the planets, you ain't going nowhere. No, is, no one is over the weekend. Don't plan any big changes of life. Really, it's about squatting on that new attitude. This opposition is literally career versus security. So although you feel, all, you, know, you feel the future, you are feeling pulled down. One is pulling on the other is pulling on the other. This is trust intimacy and your sense of actual value. So as you change boundaries, you raise prices and da 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 da. All this means you're going nowhere. You're really just supposed to hold space for the new attitude. Then on Saturday, some groovy stuff going on, man. First of all, Chiron rules the day. That's your home planet, if you don't know. So the universe is playing your tune, magical 11, the healing degree. You are feeling social as the moon shifts into Cancer, shifting your emotions to your context consciousness and your popularity. But there's something magical that's going to happen. Check it out. It's a soul pyramid. The moon in Cancer is your emotions of really starting to feel a new connection to the world, feeling a new belonging. Uh, trining into that new belonging is the new attitude or the fresh attitude. Let's not say new attitude, let's say fresh attitude. And then relationships and marriage are starting to heal. So uh, relationships, marriage, your sense of belonging, and your attitude all coming together. The grand square is now in full effect, though. So again, although you're having an emotional breakthrough under the seams, ain't nothing going on outside uh, on this day. In this particular opposition, though, the moon in Cancer is feeling your belonging uh, to the world, but that is maybe tugging on what your inner child wants. So it's like, oh, my heart wants this, but I've got to do that. So that's tugging back and forth. And then again, trust intimacy versus your sense of self-esteem. So that's not going anywhere. Again, the day is to... Uh, bring the emotions together within, again, relationships, attitude, uh, and your context in society. Then on fun day, Sunday, Jupiter rules a day, and that means it's time to expand. So now that you have cleared the boogeyman from your mind, or the cobwebs, man, uh, you can run with that ball. So it's to run with limitless, you know, unlimited possibility uh, implanted in your head. Anything is possible, and you really want to employ that attitude. Uh, because only you hold yourself back if you haven't learned, and you will in three years if you don't now. But there is an important breakthrough. One is a new sense of security. Your mind is going to finally feel secure once you've done the soul work I talked about. And then your emotions about your belonging really training into your attitude. So it could be a very, very nice day with friends or associates on Funday Sunday which is starting November 11th now, not November 4th, just so you all know. All right, Virgos, that's all we got. Hey, come down and party with us and have fun. Show up in a costume or something on soulgarden.me. And if you can't, that's cool. We'll record as much as we can. I'll see you on Funday Sunday with new horoscopes. Um, have a happy Halloween and live, love, be, man.